Hey everyone, my name is Neil and you're watching the Trail Dad channel. Uh, today we are doing a bike check. This is a 2017 Diamondback Catch 2, 27.5 wheels uh, with 2.8 two, uh, inch tires, it's a plus bike. Um, I started uh, mountain biking back in July and um, really got into it and bought this thing online, uh, shipped to my door and um, the, e the install was uh, fairly easy. I just had to put in the handlebars, seat post, and front wheel, and was ready to go. Uh, they do have some videos online on their website, uh, step by step, that help a lot uh, in installing this bike. Since uh, re this is really my first time um, getting a real bike, um, so uh, let's get to it. So let's start with the suspension. I have a Rockshox Pike RC. It has 130 mils of travel, compression dial up and top. Uh, the rebound dial is on the bottom. It has a cool graduation on the stanchions so you can easily set your sag. For the rear shock, I have a RockShox Monarch Debonair RT3. It also has the graduations so you can easily set your sag. Um, it has compression and rebound dials. The compression has three settings. Um, locked open for those uh, technical descents and pedal I think that's for uh, uh, medium this frame has 130 mm travel it's uh, connected by the level link system um, and from what I've heard uh, it's kind of similar to the VPP system that Santa Cruz uses on his bikes onto the drivetrain so I have a SRAM GX 11 speed Horizon Drill in the back. It's attached to a 10 to 42 teeth cassette. Up in front, it's a race face affect crank set. Uh, 30 teeth uh, plate, and the bike also came with uh, flat pedals from Diamondback, which is a good bonus. So for the wheel set, I have the stock Diamondback hubs uh, with boost, and it has three axle front and back. It also has the 27.5 Diamondback wide rims um, that is tubeless compatible. So when I turned to tubeless, it was really easy uh, process. Uh, it came with the uh, Nobby Nix 2.8 inch tires with snakeskin sidewall for extra protection. Huge treads. Um, when I went tubeless, uh, I was experimenting on the PSI, so I finally decided on 14 PSI up in front and 16 in the back. It's really great, really uh, inspiring confidence, uh, especially on those descents. You know, when I read about what tires I should buy as a beginner, um, I heard that the plus tires are really confidence inspiring, and um, I think it helped me push myself. Uh, to be a better rider, you know, I wasn't really afraid of um, going into those uh, uh, kind of rocky areas. Okay. So onto the cockpit, I'm still using the stock handlebars. Uh, these are Diamondback handlebar and grips. The handlebar has 15 mil of rise and uh, 760 mil wide. Uh, for the brakes, came with the uh, SRAM Level T hydraulic brakes. 180 mil rotor up in front and in back and I'm um, using uh, metal pads in the back and uh, resin up in front so the only upgrade really that I did for this bike is to replace that atrocious dropper remote that came with the bike so I bought a wolf tooth dropper remote and it's been really night and day on how good this uh, remote is and you can really modulate the um, the dropper post and just really and smooth it's snappy uh, it has a sealed bearing inside there it's not cheap but I think it's really worth it so for the dropper post I have a KS Love Integra dropper post um, it's been smooth reliable nothing really you need more from a dropper post um, the seat is a WTB uh, saddle um, it's basic, but you know, it gets the job done. No complaints there. So there you go. I think this bike has really great value. Um, I bought it for around 2K online. Um, really good components right off the box. And uh, I'm really loving it, to be honest. And um, 
I don't think I'm gonna upgrade anytime soon for anything really. I just have to improve my skills first. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. Um, hit that like and subscribe button for more mountain biking adventures and mountain biking contents from me. Uh, appreciate your um, time to watch this video. And see you guys on the next trail.